curriculum support guide is an amazing tool. It sets the district up to create a vision around why high quality instructional materials are important to them and to their teachers and to their students and it allows them to work with their stakeholders to develop that vision. Um, but also then walks them through, okay, so now that you've selected, what does it look like to fully implement? And when we came across the curriculum support guide, it was a perfect partnership uh, for the state to work with instruction partners, because then that allowed us to support our districts and our educators and ultimately our students. ODE reached out to Mount Healthy and said, hey, you know, we have a grant um, to work with instruction partners on adopting high quality instructional materials. They said it was focused on math and we were screaming with excitement. And Mount Healthy came along um, and in their work with math and really provided us an amazing model um, that we're going to be able to showcase for the rest of the state of how a selection process and implementation process for high quality instructional materials specific to math um, was built around their instructional vision. We knew what our classrooms kind of looked like, but now that we had solid data around it and it was very evident that a either the teachers were not using the resources that we had given them or the resource that we were using with fidelity wasn't to the rigor of the standards and we knew that we needed something that was going to involve our students a little bit more um, get them talking and interacting with each other get them thinking outside of the box that productive struggle um, so our journey began there I think that the Ohio Support Guide really kind of helped me get my teachers buy-in from the very beginning. I think that um, the Curriculum Support Guide and the Curriculum Implementation Framework has helped us to not only say, um, you know, we want to be good stewards of our community's money, so there's an expectation this, that this product will be in use in your classrooms, but to be able to have conversations with teachers about how the product will be used and how instruction is going to shift because of this new product and how we're going to be there to help them along the way. Change is hard. Change is hard for uh, everyone, um, especially, you know, when it's something that is such a major shift from what we have been doing. But I think that what this tool did in particular is really made it transparent for everybody. Um, it was laid out in a very easy to follow manner. It was step by step. Um, there were no kind of what's coming next moments. One of the really important parts of, of the pilot and adoption uh, and purchase program is obviously the professional development that's provided. Um, we're not only changing uh, a curricular resource, we're, we're, we're adjusting our instructional approach because of our partnership with instruction partners. Um, what's, what a math classroom looks and sounds like is going to be different. This has forever changed the way that Mount Healthy um, will do curriculum and adopt materials and implement materials. The Ohio Department of Education is a small but mighty team, but there is no way for us to reach over 600 districts. And um, so we rely heavily on our educational service centers. We are working with our ESCs to create professional learning for our ESCs that can then support the districts. Um, we're doing a couple of partnerships where the ESCs are heavily immersed with the districts as they go through that selection process. And then again, as I mentioned, that implementation process that is just so critical. So at the state level, we're supporting the ESCs um, in hopes then that they can then reach the 600 plus districts um, and actually impact our students.